Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. Yet another electric shower teardown. Galaxy Aqua 3XL. It's tiny. It's quite a small shower. It's going to leak water everywhere. I know. Right. What's here? I've run out of space in the workshop. I'm trying to work through stuff. Let's get into it. Oh, it's leaking again. Screw on top. None on the bottom, makes my life a bit easier. It's just been ripped straight from the wall in a shower refurbishment, bathroom refurbishment, I imagine. These one, these galaxies are Glen Dimplex, if I remember. Showers with style, Coventry. Three kilowatt shower. That's bloody tiny, you could run that on a plug. I guess looking at the wires that have gone in there, they're only if they're two and a half, I'd be surprised. They might be two and a half. Ah, uh, okay, so it's not, it says shower, but it's not a shower, it's a hand wash. Okay, so it's a hand wash, three kilowatts. That's kind of neat. It's probably only got a small element. It's quite lightweight. Let's bust a load of screws out of it and have a look. See if there's any interesting features. I like picking up electric showers because they do have sometimes a bit of copper, a bit of brass, copper element, some good electronics. Sometimes you get a good micro switch out of them. They've got parts that are handy like the thermal switch up on top for other showers. I'll do these as well. Oops. And a big heavy duty connector block, which can come in handy if you're doing projects. Micro switch. Now, what would that do? You turn a knob that was missing, and that would click this on and off, I guess, and then this would increase or decrease something. That's just a thing. And water's coming in through here. Bit of an interruption there from the telephone. Such is life. Don't know how far I got. Um, yeah, okay, knob. Knob drives this thing. This is a flow restrictor. There must be a pressure thing into here that puts pressure popping this thing out, I presume. So let's have a look at that. And That should pop something out. If I'm blowing into this hole here. Then I presume this little thing here pops out under pressure. So let's just have a look without using the pressure. I'm expecting a spring. Missed the screw over there. I'm expecting a spring, am I? Well, okay, no spring. Yeah, it's got a diaphragm there. It's got a diaphragm that pops up, that activates the micro switch, which gives power to the heater. And it's as simple as that. And without the heater, the micro switch, yeah, this micro switch, without the heater on, you don't get hot water, but you get flow. So it's a low pressure regulator switch there. We pop off that micro switch, comes in handy maybe. Plastics go in the bin. Uh, flow regulator. Bit of water there coming out. Flow regulator. Why is it stuck? If you're into it, you get lots of useful screws. I don't know if I really want them. This thing. Yeah, you twist it. The black thing pops up. There's a thread inside. Goes back down. Stops the water going in. That's really all there is to it. That's just a bizarre little coupler offset. Uh, cable, screws, quite simple element. 
and I like these ones because if you pop off that plastic bit then you should be able to wrench oh it's leaking everywhere should be able to wrench this off Urgh, it doesn't want to come all right well, we'll pull off the wires first let's do that a bit of wire another bit of wire with a neon element I presume it's neon neon light not an element another wire and then with a flat head brass screw a flat bladed slotted brass screw take that off these I think are quite similar across a lot of showers and these things they just cut the power if they overheat so I'll keep that as a spare I do have a box with about 30 of them now so it's a bit there comes a point where it's kind of silly to keep them but that's the way, that's where we are if we were referring to any of the garages that have been cleaned out that people pass on I bought that um Colwood tractor recently but a single wheel pedestrian tractor you don't know what I'm talking about over there there's a single wheel pedestrian tractor and the guy who was selling it was saying, yeah, well, if I pop my clogs, the kids won't want any of this tat. So I'm flogging it right now while I'm still alive. 70 odd years old, maybe older. That's how it is. I would rather use a nut driver, but I'd have to walk to get it. And when there's only two nuts, this will be okay. Hand wash. Where did I get this one from? This was in the skip outside a old DIY shop that was being refurbished. I presume this was just in the bathroom. There's that switch there. Now, this should be the element and that should be the end. Although there might be a piece of pipe in here as well. Actually, sometimes there's a piece of copper pipe. Yep, copper element, single coil compared to a shower. So that's three kilowatts. That's about 10 or 12 kilowatts. You can see it's just got more copper in there, more element. Bit of greening on the copper. What difference does it make? The scrapyard I go to, the scrapyard that I go to, doesn't pay much for elements. So if you can get as much copper off it as you can, you're doing better. This is just pushed into an o-ring normally. Sometimes they're stainless, sometimes they're copper. Copper is obviously more valuable. Um, if they come out, they come out. And if they don't, you've got to hike them. But by hiking them, you bend the end if you wanted to keep it for some project. Little bits of copper pipe. Copper, copper, brass, plastic, 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 some screws and some wire. Cable's about 1,700 pounds a ton at the moment, so it's worth keeping. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.